Okay, so let's take a close-up look. So the first thing that I did when I first started, I started with a blank page of these baseball card holders and I really wanted to get some that were nice and sturdy. They do make ones that are a little bit more expensive because the pages are more durable, thicker, and not as flimsy. So I did want to invest in some really good pocket pages. And then the first thing I did was cut out scrap pieces of paper from one of my Christmas books and pick out the patterns that I liked most and then I cut them up to fit the pages and inserted them. Now I'm not entirely sure if there's an easier way to do this. Maybe there is a template that I can actually print first and then use that to measure all of my pages with. Um, but really I just kind of took my tape measure and measured the, the length and the width of the boxes and that is how I cut up my scrap of pages and I also use scissors because at the time I did not have the cutter that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. So that was the first thing that I did was the scrap of pages and then we can just go ahead and go through each and every pocket. The first pocket has this red and white pattern paper and in the back I included these little green tree felts that are actually stickers. I pulled these from the Dollar Tree and they came in a packet of variety but I just picked out the Christmas trees and then I actually took three of them and peeled the backing and actually stuck the trees to the outside of the card holder. So I thought it would be really cute to include the trees that I used in here for her and then this one here has a scrapbook piece of paper that is like wood and I simply added some fun sticker embellishments that had ornaments, which I thought was a really cute way to signify that there were like little ornament bells in the back. And these I also picked up from Dollar Tree. I used these in a DIY tutorial where I decorated a bottle that had a snowflake on it and I added some pretty gold bells to it and these were the bells I used. And because it makes the pocket page stick out, like this, I did add some washi to the top to seal it so that they wouldn't fall out. Then this third page here at the top was this tree pattern that you see here, and I simply added some red rhinestones. I've had this in my stash, and I thought this would be a really cute way to send some fun rhinestones for her and also decorate the pocket page. In the back, I included a Christmas tree eraser that I also picked up from Dollar Tree. I think this eraser is so incredibly cute. It looks great and I'm really surprised from the Dollar Tree. I got it in a package of, I don't know, 12 or 16 and I think this is a great eraser for this pocket letter. Then this row here, I added this Santa paper scrapbook and I included some of this ribbon, or not ribbon, but twine or yarn and I actually picked up this yarn from the Dollar Tree as well. I've hauled it in one of my videos. It came in a package of three and I liked the red one because it went with my theme. Then I took some of my twine and tied a knot around it and included this in here as a sample for her to use. And then behind I included some paper clips in green and red to go with the theme of this pocket letter which I picked these up from the Dollar Tree as well. They had a, they have a box of colored uh, paper clips and I just sorted through them and picked out the green and red ones. Now the center here is the Christmas tree scrap paper and I used this die cut which I hauled from the Target dollar spot and I got a package of I don't know how many but there's a lot still left and I simply uh, glued it to the top of this page here. I actually used a glue dot that I've purchased from Dollar Tree. So they sell little packages of glue dots and I use a glue dot to simply add this to the pocket letter page. I didn't do any decorations to this, but it would have been cute to, you can paint this or you can even add little rhinestones. But I left it the way it was. I liked how rustic it was. And on top of this page, I made this little banner. So I took a piece of this wood scrapbook paper 
and then a piece of the tree scrap of paper and I made the tree one a little bit smaller so that you could see the wood sticking out on the sides and then I cut it into a little banner and then I used some sticker letters from Dollar Tree and I just wrote tags in red or I, I didn't write it but I put the sticker on here you know what I mean and then I included some Christmas tags for wrapping in here that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree so I cut up the ones that I felt went with this theme and I didn't peel the backings because they are for her to use in case she wants to use them and I just liked the ones that really fit this theme so and I put them in so that when she turns the pocket letter around that she can see them so this so this pocket letter right here is again the same pattern as this page and I just included some fun rhinestones for her to use and then because rhinestones can fall out I used some of this striped washi from the Dollar Tree to seal this page right here at the top so that they don't come falling out. I also use this washi along the side here. I didn't punch the holes. I'm going to do that before I send it off so that in the event she just wants to collect pocket pages, she can put these in a binder, which is what I'm doing. The one that she sent me is going into a binder so that I can flip through it and see all the beautiful pocket letters that I have. And behind here is actually a letter that I wrote out to her. So I put the letter back here and then this one has the same wood pattern and then I simply added a tag from the Dollar Tree. I've hauled this in one of my videos so if you watch my hauls this is exactly what I wanted to do with it. So I picked the one that I felt looked best with this pocket letter and it's actually a sticker. So I don't know if you can tell but the bottom layer is a sticker and it has a little clear tag that attaches this hanging one to it. And then you just apply it like a sticker, which I thought was so cool. Um, and then the bell is really cute. And in the back, I included some bottle caps. I actually made these a couple of years ago when I was really into like working on bottle caps. And I saw these in my craft selection and I thought this is so cute. It looks great with this theme. So I included two of these little bottle caps that I made here. And then this page is the same red pattern. I took some green ribbon, I tied it in a bow, and then I used that same glue dot for this. And I just simply stuck the glue dot to the page and then I stuck the ribbon on top and it holds extremely well. Behind this one I added another eraser. It's a little Santa eraser. The quality is really great. He's really cute and he's just the right size for this. Okay, so this last page, I wanted to include some washi for her. So the first thing is the Santa scrapbook paper in the background. And then I took some of these little um, thread bobbins. I've actually, you might have seen these in my cleaning out my craft storage video. And I actually use these for yarn when my daughter was like making bracelets. And I thought this would be really great to wrap washi around. And so I just took three of these and wrapped my favorite washies as little samples for her. So this one is the stripe. This one's the Christmas tree. And then this one's like sweets and hot chocolate and peppermint. So. These were my favorite that went with the theme for this and I indicated this page by using sticker letters that say washi and because my sticker letters were a little bit big I um, just went at a diagonal and then I added some of the rhinestones that I gave to her here on the corners like this and then what I gave to her in this pocket letter page was actually a couple of samples of the actual scrapbook papers that I used in here. Okay, now let's talk about the top and the banner, which I think really gives it that extra wow factor. This is one of the items that I hauled from the Target Dollar Spot. So I thought that this would look cute at the top to hold 
the banner and I just kind of eyeballed this banner and made it myself. I cut out a long strip and then I folded it in half and then I cut the ends to make a tail. And then I took twine, I laid it out flat, I folded the banner over it and then I used the glue dot to secure the inside of each side of the banner so that it would close shut like that. And then I added the same sticker letters from the Dollar Tree up here and I just wrote Mary. And this one is not really hanging on except that this is holding it in place. But this side I actually used a glue dot to hold it. So I probably should use a glue dot over here as well. So let's take a look at the back. And that is it. This is my very first pocket letter. I'm so excited to send this back to her. I have another one that I need to do. Somebody sent me, another subscriber sent me a pocket letter. So I am going to do one for her and send it back for her. I'm not going to mention any names just because I do want this to be a surprise. But I thought I'd share with you guys my very first pocket letter. And thanks for watching. Bye.